Hey guys, this is Mark Meyer from MarTech Hero. I'm just gonna do a short video today. I'm gonna to show how to automatically clear out data in Google Sheets on a scheduled basis without even having to log into Google Drive or open the Google Sheet. Now you might ask yourself, why would I possibly ever need to do this? So it is a very unique problem, but often if you have a process that imports data automatically into Google Sheets, you may want to have the Google Sheet contents cleared out before the new data comes in. Often, if you don't clear out the data first, the new data just keeps getting added to the bottom of the sheet, so you have a lot of duplicated data. For example, I use Zapier a lot to sometimes import data or even tools like Browse AI that scrapes data and imports it into Google Sheets. So it is great uh, to be able to clear out the data before the new updated data comes in. Okay, so here I am in a test uh, Google Drive account, and I have this test spreadsheet called Test Sheet. We're just gonna open this up here. And as you can see, I just put some uh, dummy data into this spreadsheet. So we want a process in which we want this cleared, let's say every day at like about 4 a.m., I want this data cleared out automatically. Uh, and I don't wanna go in and have to open the, the spreadsheet or the Google Sheet to trigger it to be cleared. I just want it to clear out automatically while I sleep. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to where it says extensions and there's something that says apps script. We're gonna select that. And this opens the app script window and it defaults to this thing that says function, my function with these curly brackets where you can start entering code to whatever you want this particular code to do. In this case, we just want to clear out the cells. So I'm gonna copy over the script here. So this function name, and you can call this anything you want. I called it clear the sheet. Um, but this right here, you can call it anything you want. And it basically all this is doing is it's saying for the current spreadsheet app, it's gonna clear, in this case, I'm just clearing A1 through F500. Okay, so any data between that range is gonna completely clear out. So if you don't wanna delete the header row, for example, you can make a change that says A2 instead of A1. And uh, you just you basically just select the range you wanna clear. So after I pasted this, I'm gonna just title this project up here. I'm just gonna call it, we'll just call it clear the sheet. That's the function name, clear the sheet. And we'll hit this rename. And then this little thing right here, the disk, it's obviously the save the project. So let's save it. And let's just go bounce back to the prior tab. You'll see this. Let's just test the script real fast. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this run button. And down here, it says executing log. And this will come up the first time uh, you're gonna try to run this. It's gonna say review permissions. So you just have to log in or verify your credentials. And then you get this warning message that says Google hasn't verified this app. What this means is basically you just have the script here that Google doesn't know what it's trying to do. So it's just warning you like Google doesn't know what this is doing. So um, if you want to continue, you just click this advanced. Since we wrote it and it's pretty simple, it's just clearing this particular spreadsheet, we're fine. And we're gonna click, so we're gonna click this go to clear the sheet. Even though it says unsafe, uh, we know it's safe. And then this is just to allow the Google Sheet wants to access to this account to be able to run this script. That's fine, so we're gonna say allow. And then it finally started and it's executing and it's completed. So now if we jump back over to our sheet, you'll see all the data is now gone. So that did work correctly. I'm gonna bounce back over to the sheet and actually just paste my dummy data back in there just so we have it. And then I'm gonna go back to where the app script is. So right now, if you every day if you wanted just to go into the app and hit this run by yourself, it does the trick, right? But that's not what we wanna do. We want this to run automatically at a certain time every single day so we don't have to worry about it. And presumably, let's say you have your new import coming in every morning at 6 a.m. 
maybe you want all this data deleted by like 4 or 5 a.m. So to do that, over here on the left, there's a little clock. We're going to click on that clock. So after we hit the little clock, on the bottom right here, there's something that says Add Trigger. So we're going to select Add Trigger. And this opens this dialog window. The first thing it says is it says choose which function to run. Uh, the only one we can pick is clear the sheet, and that's what we named it. Now, on that previous screen where we typed, copied in that code, this is what we called the functions, and that's the only function that's in there, so that's what we're going to select. Choose which deployment should run. You can keep that at head. Select event source. So on this, we're going to drop it down, and we're going to say this is time-driven. Now it opens a few more dialog boxes here. Select the type of time-based trigger. So we can say specific date and time, minutes timer, hour timer, day, week, or month. We're going to do a, a day timer. We want this to run every single day. And it says, what time of day do you want it to run? And it gives you a one hour window. So somewhere in that window is when it's going to run. We're going to say 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. So now this is basically saying it's going to run the function, clear the sheet every day based on the time uh, between 4 and 5 a.m. And over here, failure notification settings, settings notify me daily. If there's a failure, it's going to send you an email to whatever account your Google Drive is tied to. So we're going to hit save. And once again, it's just having us verify our account. This is just a test account I'm using. And once again, it's saying Google has not verified this app or this timer. Uh, we're going to once again click advanced and then go ahead and click this thing that says it's unsafe, even though it's not because we know what it's doing. And we're going to allow access to this sheet. And now you'll see that there's a time-based trigger on here that's going to run the function called clear the sheet, which we did right here. And every day at that time, it's going to completely clear out this sheet. So that's honestly all you have to do. Now, every morning between 4 and 5 a.m., this sheet will just automatically be cleared out. And then presumably, if you have another import that runs at 5 or 6 a.m., the new data will come in automatically. So it's a great way just to make sure that the data you have is the freshest data and there's no duplicates from prior day's runs or imports. And it's a great little tool to use. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to help you guys. Thanks a lot.